Okay, big flight time. Amsterdam, Japan, the Brahman. So what are we doing? So we're drinking some apple and basically take a little bit of soju. You should pour it into the beer, but realistically, it's good. That's gonna get me really drunk. Huh? So thank you. Oh, I'm doing it. Look at that. I've chopped, I've chopped it. Morning! No release form, so... No filming. No filming, sorry. That's it. That's the building. Uh, and it's the first time I've been here because I wasn't here in 2019, so it's the first time I'm seeing it. Should be cool. Let's get inside, check it out. Here it is. Pretty cool. So today is the technical meeting day. Um, and there's nothing really going on, but we've got to get some content, we've got to do some meetings, we've got to work out the next couple of days. And it all sort of begins now, because this is Japan, then there's South Korea, then there's Jakarta, all in three weeks. Got that little tingle in the fingers again. There's this really cool hold I wanted to talk to you about, because it's from 360, and I've never seen anything like it before. It's dual text, but with a tiny little sliver of textured surface. Um, it's gonna be unique for the athlete. It's gonna be such a challenge. Can you imagine trying to climb on a thing, not knowing which sliver of that hold is the right bit to grab onto? It's gonna be super interesting coming up. Okay. <laughs> Lunch. It's qualifying time uh, and there's lots to do in terms of our content for today and it's the first time we get to see the athletes in action so very very excited to be back. Uh, always a busy day the quali but I'll let you know what's going on. I'm crouched down because all the photographers are around me, but I get a really good view of what's going on. Social media ring marker. Getting the it's contents. A, it's a hard job. It's a hard job, yeah. Somebody has to do it. I've got to hold a camera. You, you just. I have to pull a phone. That's true. It's heavy. Oh. That was just a meeting with the Japanese TV company who's running. Uh, well, the show basically. So sometimes it's um, our guys, the Obsessed Media guys, sometimes it's a TV crew on deck and we just have to coordinate with them to make sure everything works. And, and I have to find out whether using a split screen or what systems in place, that all the audio is set up, because it changes between events and we want it to be good for you guys. So it's part of the process and part of my job is just to be on those meetings and make sure everything's okay or point out any possible problems. So we do work hard to try to make it work. He's doing the edit, I'm doing the script writing and the voiceover, 
uh, and there's a little bit of a break between the women's qualifying and the men's qualifying so there's a chance to get the script written fit it all together and try to make it as informative as possible because at the end of the day you guys want to know what's happening um, who got through who didn't get through a few stories so I'm just coming up with interesting script based on what I watched and what we filmed this morning uh, so that's the plan now and then the men start at four o'clock it's now 220 so we've got about an hour and a half to get this script done and sorted and it'll be easy he's a pro he can't hear me very focused <laughs> That was a 15-hour-plus uh, day, but we are done. We're finished for today. Loads of content. Uh, the qualifying highlights has been done, finished up now by Obsessed Guys. Good morning. It is semi-finals day and finals day for the women. Uh, through no fault of my own, I did not do much sleeping last night. Jet lag just murdering me in the middle of the night, but hey, uh, I was very, very excited, though, to get going, get talking. And this is it. This is the quali boulders behind me. It's a couple of hours before the athletes start and I just need to sit down, get my prep sorted, get some stats, check names, all that kind of stuff, look at the boulders and get going. Hey, May, how you doing? Good. A little nervous. Yeah. Let me say it. Uh, May did this last year with me. She's a root setter. She's amazing at it. And her boyfriend very kindly took me around <laughs> Tokyo the other day. We had many drinks and lots of Korean food. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, May. Thank you. Thank you too. Four minutes till start of broadcast. What a semi-final that was. Uh, awesome setting, really interesting boulders. Like it, everyone kind of did different methods. There was good separation. I'm exhausted, <laughs> which I always am, because you have so much like energy during those things and it finishes, you sort of have this moment where you're like, Ooh. but it was good. Uh, finals in a couple of hours. I'm gonna find some food, then get some start lists, but I'll catch up in a sec. Right, here we go, finals time for the women. Uh, the nerves start to ramp up at this point. All the prep's done, got the stats, got the athlete information. I hope I know how to pronounce the names. We're ready to go. Ah! Hey Quinn, how you doing? Hello, good. <laughs> doing well. So final, is it first, you've done a lead finals with me, but not a boulder. Mm -hmm. First boulder finals, commentating. And uh, very biased towards Brooke, I hope. Pretty biased, pretty darn biased, yeah. I'm excited for her. I think the whole team is, so hopefully we'll hear some good cheering from the whole US squad. Awesome. Yeah. All right, good luck, have fun. Hello. From China comes out. It's a bit worrying that this was according to the root set, it's by far the easiest bowler. You probably know by now who won that competition, but you know what, I'm not gonna give it away. All I'm going to say is that that was one of the most emotional ends to a comp ever. Incredible performance. Do go and watch it back if you haven't already. Now we have to get uh, some extra content. So we're doing this thing called Athlete of the Week where we highlight an athlete who's been amazing. So of course I'm going to go and talk to, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll reveal it in the vlog in a minute. Um, and then we've got to do the highlights for the final. So I'll show you that process in a second. Thank you so much. <laughs> Brooke, first of all, it, it's super hard to hold in the emotions for this moment. I was almost in tears in the commentary <laughs> box. I was with Quinn who was almost in tears. Your first gold medal for Bolton, congratulations. Thank you. It must be so difficult to describe your emotions, but how are you feeling right now? Yeah, I feel like I'm literally in a dream right now. Oh, that was a heck of a moment with Brooke. Brooke's one of those athletes that I don't know super well. Um, but it's just amazing to watch her climb and just to be able to have that moment with her and like interview her and then it's special. It's always special. I have a very, very privileged job. Uh, but the stadium is empty right now and we are sorting out the finals highlight video because with the uh, stream not being free anymore, some people don't get to watch it. So we kind of want to let people know what's going on. And we're trying this thing where we put the live commentary into it rather than me writing a voiceover that can I don't know, sometimes that just is a bit bland. So we're trying this thing, we put our voices from the finals actually into it. Um, so we're back there doing that. Everyone else has uh, gone and got a beer. Very jealous of that. 
But it can be quite a late night, this one. Um, we're usually in the stadium for a couple of hours after it all finishes, and they're usually dismantling it. Of course, today, uh, they're setting up for the semi-finals and finals tomorrow. Back at the hotel, I uh, had some good sushi, that was cool. I'm just going to do a little mini edit thing of Brooke's final boulder for IFSC social media. Uh, so that's putting like a sort of her final boulder in a vertical format. And then I'm going to write some of the UKC article that I write uh, about the finals. Um, because women's final tonight, men's tomorrow and UKC won it kind of the next day. So I'm going to try to write the women's one now. Got a gin and tonic. Cheers, everyone. Check in for tomorrow's flight to South Korea. They're coming to with loads of boxes, and we're a few minutes away from the semi final. Big jumps, tricky moves, normal stuff. May, what, what are we doing? We are about to climb on these waters. You want to climb on them? We <laughs> no. can't climb on them. <laughs> no, really. Making sure that we can come in tight. Good enough, yeah. so we don't get any complaints. <laughs> <laughs> we always get a complaint. Yeah, we do. You, well, I do anyway, you know what you're talking about. <laughs> what? What? What the heck is that? People complain all the time, fairly so, that I sometimes mess up names, and, and sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't though, and people think that I'm messing it up. Like Hannah Moyle, for example, I got sent a very angry message once from someone saying, you're getting it wrong, it's Mule. And I was like, no, I'm not, I know her, it's not, uh, and I was right. But I'm fairly dyslexic, and name pronunciation is something I do find difficult, but I do work at it. I always go and ask the athletes, the coaches, but I do sometimes mess it up, and I'm trying harder, and I try hard. But that's what I have to do with the phonetic thing. Well, he's up now towards the top hole. Final move, pops out on the left, drops it. Oh, we're eating Japanese food. Arno pulls out of his bag a wodge of French cheese, which he's brought all the way from France to Japan. Uh, <laughs> you can take the Frenchman out of France. Look at that! It's massive! <laughs> hey, um, we, we just did a podcast. Oh, yeah, we did a podcast. We're doing Crushed podcasts it. now. This is cool. Oh, yeah. I always wanted to do a podcast, but I couldn't. I didn't want to do it myself. I didn't want to be the main person for it. You're good as a main person. Thank you. I appreciate nice. it. Um, right, well, I've got. Are you vlogging now? Yeah, I'm vlogging I as well. I'm going to be on your YouTube channel again. Yeah. <laughs> what I've decided is this year, um, it's been a bit stressful for me. So I've decided to slam myself with as much work as humanly possible. <laughs> Literally, that is my solution to my mental health issues. As your uh, free time psychologist, right? <laughs> I would not advise that. <laughs> it's happening. I don't think I've got a single day off, and I'm, I'm slamming the time. But anyway. I'm doing a podcast, I don't know where it is, I don't know if this is going to be out first before the podcast, but um, we'll see. Yeah, just, hello. Hi. Hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Look at your fans. <laughs> There's a line of them. <laughs> she is so famous. She'd never admit it, but she is. I know, right? I'm going to leave. It's finals time. Chloe Koskoy is here. Hey, Chloe. Second USA athlete to be in the commentary box. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a finals. Big moment from the young man. Awesome, awesome to see.
Well, that's it. As you can see, everyone's packing up. Uh, it's amazing how quickly these venues get sort of torn down uh, because it's late nights for everyone. So everyone wants to get it done, get out. And you can see already empty stadium only 45 minutes or so after it finishes. Okay, I'm back at the hotel. I'm uh, just finishing off another golden moment social media edit. And then I've got to finish the men's uh, final write-up for UKC. I did the women's last night. So I'm going to write that tonight, send it to them tomorrow, and then they've got what they want. It's funny, it's like, I love doing these competitions. It's so good. There's so much excitement and adrenaline. But this weird thing happens when it's finished, which is that you sew up, and then when it's gone, Personally, I just I sort of crash. I'm one of those people where I'm either up or I'm down, not really in the middle. And because the comps are so up, when it finishes, I just sort of hit the deck. And uh, I don't know, it's interesting. Like mentally, it's quite hard for me to deal with that. And I'm telling you guys this just because I don't know, I don't know why I'm telling you this, but I'm telling you this. Um, I'm so privileged to have the job I do. I'm so lucky to be able to talk about the best climbers in the world, but it's moments like this when you're in a hotel room and all the excitement's gone and you're just left sort of with silence that I do find quite hard to deal with. But regardless, tomorrow flying to South Korea for the next round of the comp. So I'm gonna finish this vlog here, hopefully gonna do another one in South Korea. Um, exciting things lined up there. I've got a potential tattoo with Jong Won Chon, loads of content, loads of stuff. And after that, it's Jakarta as well. So this season just doesn't stop. So thank you so much for watching this diary. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below. Congratulations to all the IFSC athletes. As always, it's just a privilege to watch you guys completely crush it. I hope you enjoyed the broadcast if you watched it. Yeah, subscribe, like, and all that stuff. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one.